There it is. You guys can probably tell what this is. Let's go ahead and open it up. Here they are. So as I said before, we ordered isopods and springtails for this enclosure. These ones are in some charcoal. And these are the um, springtails. Not a ton of these guys are moving. I'm not sure if that's because of the charcoal or what. But um, we'll stick them in there nonetheless and uh, hope they do well. Then we got, oh my god, these isopods. Look at them. They're nice and big. You see those guys? Much bigger than my other ones. So we'll get those in there as well. And um, this will officially be a bioactive enclosure. New habitat for these little dudes. Scurrying around. Look at them. Much cooler looking. They're like little pandas. And a lot bigger. So I hope... Um, Alfred here, which that's actually his name. His name is Evan Alfred Rhines. He goes by Alfred. Um, that was suggested by you guys, so thank you for those names. Hopefully we can get him looking at one of these. That would be cool. He's a lot more active than um, Edward is, so look, they're tumbling all around here. Um, so hopefully he will come out and try to kind of see what's going on in his enclosure. And for these springtails, since they're on charcoal, and I obviously don't want the charcoal just to stay in there forever. And they're so small that I can't take them out individually. We're going to put them on a paper towel and put them in there. I'll leave for a day or two so they all get off all the charcoal. And then I'll take the paper towel out and take the charcoal out with it. Hello guys, it is Aaron from the future here. I just wanted to put this in here as a little segue from this part of the of the video, setting up Alfred's final bioactive setup into going into the hike in, which is about to happen for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this little part. It wasn't enough for its own video, so I made it just a little segment before we get into the hike in stuff. And there's actually some snakes at the very end of this video from Delonica, so make sure you stick around for that. Hope you guys enjoy it, and yeah, let's get started. So we're in Dahlonega, Georgia. It's like eight in the morning or something. We're going to this thing called the Hike Inn, which should be kind of interesting. I am incredibly tired and it's like 30 degrees outside. So let me show you what I'm aware. The Hike Inn is this place you have to hike five miles to get there. And it's like a little inn in the middle of the woods. So it'll be interesting. We'll see how that goes. I'll show you what I'm gonna wear. I'll show you what I'm taking and um, we'll get it out. We got just some like pants. I don't know, they're like thin, but flexible all that stuff these are go over the pants they're waterproof it's not supposed to rain but i would assume it might be breezy and i don't want the breeze going straight through my pants when it's 32 degrees um sweatshirt is going to go on on top of that and then we have rain jacket slash windbreaker that's going to go on that and we're going to hope this is enough we got clothes and stuff in the bag i'm bringing my laptop because they don't actually have outlets that you can use in your room so my laptop is going to charge everything it's going to be kind of heavy taking it but it's whatever and um we got wallet keys flashlight all that kind of stuff in there and yeah should be interesting so let's just go for it we also got boots of course these are the solomon quest 4ds i think i love these they're dirty as hell but they're good So this is the Amicola of the Falls um, Visitor Center. And there's actually some snakes in there. They had a Eastern King Snake, um, Eastern Milk Snake, a uh, Corn Snake, Black Rat Snake, and I think that's it. But it's pretty cool to see. And there's an Eastern Box Turtle as well.
So after much ado, we are just about at the trailhead, but top of Amicalola Falls is right here, which I think looks really cool. So I'll show that to you guys and then we will get started. Holy crap. Oh my God. That goes so far down. That's crazy. We are high, look out there guys. Oh my God. Okay, here we are. Start of the trail, there's mom. Say hello. Let's go. So we're about two miles in. Oh my gosh, I'm tripping. That's what my watch says. And it's not that difficult. It's a cool little creek on the trail. Let's see if I can do this while I'm filming without falling. Look at that. How cool. It splits right here. And it comes together again right there. Pretty cool. Okay, so we are about four miles in, and if anything, it's actually gotten easier so far. What do you think, Mom? How hard is this? Uh, on a scale of one to ten. Four? Okay. Yeah, it's <laughs> okay, not too bad. Water. Pretty high up now. I think we were down there just a little bit ago. Pretty cool. We are getting very close now, let's see. 4.81 miles, we got about 0.2 miles left to go. Now first glimpse of it, right there. We're averaging about 23 minutes a mile, so not too bad for hiking with a decently heavy backpack. Truth. Let's see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is insane. What? <laughs> this is crazy. I told you. This is a miniature tour of the room. This is on wide angle, so it, it's a lot smaller than it actually appears in this. I'll show you just a regular angle one too. Bunks, uh, as you can see, mom, put your hands out so you can see how wide this is. She ain't that tall and it's it's tiny. There's a little thing back here with like pillows and a stool. And that is literally it. a heat control knob. And then there's actually an outlet, which I didn't think there was going to be an outlet, but there it is. And here it is on 1X, so you can see it looks a lot smaller like this. <laughs> We're in the little dining area, which is pretty small. There is apples, a biscuit that's cold, and some cobbler, so we're just living it up. Mini food review, the cobbler is very good. That's good too, but it's just dry. <laughs> and Okay, give us a review, Mom. One to ten. You don't like it cold. I like cold stuff much better, but... It would be much better hot with ice cream. No. <laughs> it's cold, so that makes it good. I have coffee, so I'll be getting some of that. Okay, so we're going to the bathhouse. I don't shoot on. Feet are freezing. My goodness gracious. So here's the shower, apparently. Kind of cold. It is cold in here still, my God. Nice, it's warm. So the bathrooms are really nice, actually. There's the shower. Here's this stuff. Bunch of sinks. Actually, a lot nicer than I thought, and concrete floors that are freezing. So, there's a cool little mirror in here. I'm gonna get some coffee. We're gonna chill a little bit in the room, try to warm up slightly. I got a bad blister on the back of my right heel, so that'll be interesting for tomorrow, but um, I'll show you what all we're gonna do the rest of the night. And there's a little tour and stuff. You're not supposed to use cell phones, so I'm gonna be really discreet, try to get a little bit of footage for you guys, but can't promise that much. That is so cool. This is like the sun house or something. We're just like sitting inside in games and stuff, but look at this view. 
that one peak out there is so cool. Naturally, we find a book about reptiles. It's kind of interesting, kind of, mm, some of it's questionable. I wasn't gonna film this, but it's like an airplane toilet. It's something to do with conservation or recycling or something, but I thought I'd point that out. Oh, here you go, pause it and read if you want. So this is the view at night. See a decent amount of stars, more than you can normally. And that is Dahlonega, right there in the middle where we were earlier. Pretty nifty. So we just left a couple minutes ago. We're like a quarter of a mile in, it's 20 something degrees. It actually doesn't feel too bad with all these clothes on. And um, yeah, that was hiking. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll let you know when we get back to the car. Yesterday took an hour and 50 minutes, so we'll see how long it takes today. Got a blister on my right heel, so we'll see how that goes, but um, yeah, I'll let you know when we get back. Found this like ice stuff that I assume is because obviously ice expands when it freezes, so I assume she's getting pushed out of the ground, like right here. It's pretty cool though, don't really know what it is. Okay, so we're back at the visitor center. I was gonna hate myself if I didn't show you all the snakes before we leave. So I'm gonna show you all the snakes super, 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 super quick and then we'll leave. Yeah. Red snake, of course. Right there. Oh, this doesn't have a label. Oh, corn snake. Right there. Eastern box turtle. Who is hiding? Another eastern box turtle. Back there. We got ornate box turtle. Who's hiding? Sorry, I'm sniffling. It's cold. Um, another corn snake, supposedly. Yep, back in there. You can kind of see him. Then we got Eastern Milk Snake. Which... I don't see the little... Oh, there he is. Pretty cool. And then we got an Eastern King who is out and about. And he is pretty large. And that is about it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the hike in. I know it's a little bit different for this channel. Sorry, my voice is messed up. I don't know what's going on. And I hope you enjoyed seeing the isopods and springtails get put into Alfred's tank here. If you have any suggestions for future videos, as always, let me know down below in the comments. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you like the channel. Turn the bell on so you don't miss any other uploads. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you follow me on Twitch. I stream there at least every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. A lot of times it's more than that, but if you want to check me out there, feel free to do so. Have an amazing day, guys, and take care of yourselves. Peace.